WordPress Pro, which is a new WordPress auto blogging plugin. I really, really love this plugin. I think it's one of the easier to use AutoPress plugins around. I think it's also got some great features that's not in any of the other plugins that I've looked at recently. So the first thing that you can do is you've got this options screen and you can pull in articles in different languages from an article directory. So you can get English articles, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian. So if you have a site in one of those languages, you now have a way of getting automatic content in that particular language. And of course you can leave the option to leave the links inside the article. Most article directories will require you to do that, so it's best just to leave that there. And in the basic version of this plugin, you can use your Yahoo Answers API key, which you just get from Yahoo Answers, to get Yahoo Answers in the language that you have chosen. So say I chose Spanish and I want to get Spanish articles. I can connect to Yahoo Answers in Spain and get the Spanish answers to go with that. And in the basic version, I can also pull in images from Flickr just using my Flickr API key, which again I get from Flickr. Now one of the features that I really love about this plugin is the integration of the Google Wonder Wheel. And the Google Wonder Wheel, in case you haven't used it before, sort of shows you related keywords, which is fantastic for LSI, but it's also great for creating categories. And you can choose which country you're going to get these uh, related keywords or categories from. So say I have an Australian website, I want to pull on google.com au if I've got the au domain name. But normally I'd be just pulling on google.com if I had a .com. And I can choose the language that those Wonder Wheel uh, keywords are returned in. So again, if I had that Spanish site, I could just pick for those categories to be returned in Spanish. And of course I can add in my ClickBank ID and pull on some ClickBank ads if they're related. And I can also return tweets. So, so I want to get seven tweets for the post or five. The real feature that I love is the integration of the best spinner. So the best spinner is um, spinning software, article spinning software. It's created by Jonathan Leger. I've had it ever since it came out and it truly is the best spinner because it's got a huge thesaurus there of different words that you can use. So all you do is put in your username and password for the best spinner and choose if you want to identify synonyms or just replace everyone's favourites. Now I would go with the first one rather than the second one because what some people's favourites are can be not the same as what you would um, want in your article. And you can choose whether the quality of article is good, better or best. You can also cloak your affiliate links and this is in the pro version, cloaking your affiliate ver links, adding in your Amazon ID, so you can return reviews, you can return ratings, if you want to use link share or commission junction or share a sale, or either you can use eBay and you can also pull in text that will display above your eBay listing so it doesn't look like one of those junky eBay sites that have been put up in two seconds without any thought. So this really, really helps you to get unique and different content on your website. But we've not gone through all of the features yet. You can also um, use the advanced eBay features, which is quite handy, and you can also use proxies as well. Let's just uh, go over here to the rules. Now, this is where you can pull in your basic rules. So you can enter in a keyword that the article is going to be in about, put in a title, how many articles you want returned, and this is from the article directories. And you can also use custom text and use the best spinner to spin it. You can also customise the layout of your particular site. So you might want to use the article up first, then you might want to use an image, a FAQ, then maybe a video, um, Clickbank, and you just wrap that all in there. And you can save that layout to reuse it for other things if you want. 
You can also use PLR articles by just uploading your zip file and again dripping them out using the best spinner and adding custom text. So really hands-free automation is getting closer and closer but the important thing is that it's hands-free without leaving a footprint so you can get unique stuff in and it doesn't look the same as every other site out there. And of course you can pull in RSS feeds or a whole load of feeds that you've put in a CSV file. And you can manage all of that by just going to your rules section for posts and templates and either deleting or editing it to change it. And the last feature I want to show you is the Wonder Wheel. Now what you do here is you just take your keyword and type it in, so say battery, and click on it to get your Wonder Wheel categories. And it will allow you to choose whether you want to create categories out of those words and whether they should be assigned to a parent category, if the articles shouldn't mention a particular word. So if, say for example, I put my keyword as battery, um, but I might not want car batteries, I might just be thinking of um, computer batteries for instance. So I put in there car, no car, I don't want to contain that. And telling me when I want to return things, adding YouTube videos, Flickr, and Yahoo Answers. So really fantastic plugin, loads of options there, and fantastic opportunity to build out flexible sites that have unique content.